You have now completed the Manipulating Elements module. As part of this, you learned the workflows and processes about the tools, procedures, and techniques for manipulating the drawing elements. As an option, you can take part in a challenge exercise relative to this course. As you move through this course, the challenge exercises are designed to further solidify the same workflows and procedures that were covered during the lessons. However, these challenge exercises are not meant to be a step-by-step, -step, directed, click here exercise, but rather begin with a small amount of guidance and general understanding of the outcome. It is important to note that the challenge exercises do not include instructional videos. General information is provided in the following slides. You may pause and rewind as needed to get the necessary information to complete the challenge exercises. This allows you to take control of your own learning. We guide less, you explore more. It lets you guide and deepen your personal learning experience and realize the joy of self-discovery. For this challenge exercise, you will continue to develop the floor plan of the restaurant by utilizing the manipulation tools. Using the correct levels, manipulate the features based on the dimensional data provided. The file you will work on will be the proposed restaurant. This can be found in the 05 Manipulating Elements folder. In the main dining area, there are single line, partial height walls that need to be offset. All walls are 127 millimeters wide. Ensure that all the line work is on the correct level and add lines where necessary to cap off walls. Using modification tools to trim and extend at this point is not required. Modify tools are covered in the next module. You may pause and rewind the video as needed to get the necessary information to complete the challenge exercise. As shown here, the screening wall located at the restroom currently has a 1,524 millimeter width. This needs to be 1,220 millimeters instead. As shown here, place two more sets of lounge and waiting tables based on the dimensional data. Again, you may pause and rewind as needed to get the necessary information to complete the challenge exercises. As shown here, construct a line work at the sushi bar based on the dimensional data. You may match the symbology from the lounge area countertop. Again, use strictly the manipulation tools. Modification will be covered in the next module. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.